Miggs Mayfeld is mostly known for being a galactic mercenary. Prior to that profession, he was a former sharpshooter in the Imperial Army. Mayfeld left the Empire after becoming frustrated and appalled at the Empire, especially his former superior officer, Valen Hess, for their atrocities committed during Operation Cinder on Burn and Khan, killing five to 10,000 people on the planet, innocent civilians, men, women, children, even many of the Empire's own soldiers. Operation Cinder was the code name for the full-scale orbital bombardment campaign devised by Galactic Emperor Darth Sidious, who sought to punish the galaxy for failing to prevent his death, which took place on multiple star systems and planets. It was also shown in Star Wars Battlefront II campaign in far more detail. He then became a mercenary in the employment of the criminal Ranzar Malk. During that time, he also became a wanted New Republic criminal on multiple systems. Around 9 ABY, Mayfeld was selected by Malk as the leader of an infiltration team tasked with rescuing the Twi'lek criminal Quinn aboard the New Republic Correctional Transport, Bothan 5, located near the Delestri system. While aboard the Roost space station, Mayfeld was introduced to a member of the team by Malk, the Mandalorian bounty hunter, Din Djarin. The rest of the team comprised of the Deveronian Berg, the droid Q900, and Xi'an, Quinn's sister. During the mission, Mayfeld led the team aboard the prison ship and entered the control room, encountering a New Republic soldier named Lant Devon at the controls. After killing Devon, the team reached Quinn's cell before they betrayed Jaren by trapping him in the cell. However, Mayfeld and his allies were defeated by Jaren after he escaped the cell, proceeding to deliver Quinn to Malk alone. Mayfeld was later sentenced to 50 years of service at the Carthon Chop Fields for his involvement in the mission. Sometime later, Din Djarin sought him out for assistance in tracking down Moff Gideon's ship, a mission which took them to an Imperial Remnant refinery on Morak. While there, Mayfeld killed his former Imperial superior, Valen Hess, and caused heavy damage to a substantial section of the refinery. He was then subsequently set free by New Republic Marshal Cara Dune after doing a good service to the New Republic. As of right now, we don't know what the future holds for Miggs Mayfeld. The Mandalorian film is set for release in 2026, so if there is any time for Bill Burr to reprise his role as Miggs Mayfeld, it would probably be then. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And always remember... I wasn't a stormtrooper, wise-ass.